up your lady collar, the first thing you want to do is get your numbers laid out for your cow. So I have six, seven, seven, eight. I have two sets of a number because you want to put one on either side. The next thing you want to do is get your responder and take down the seven digit number. So five, seven, five, three, six, four, nine and write it down four cows, six, seven, seven, eight. The next thing you want to do is get your strap. So I always work with the buckle on the ground and the right and facing up. So you want to make sure that the round piece here, so that black piece is going to the buckle like that and the SCR writing is going to be on the same side as Lely. So the strap has to feed down the back of the responder like so. And you just pull that on until you have the responder up to the top of your strap. Afterwards then you want to get the tail and feed it up over the top of the bar at the bottom of the responder. Pull that through until it's tight. And again, you want to feed that back out across the bottom of the responder. Pull it tight again. You should feel then your responder is locked in place and won't move up or down. Next thing you do is you get your numbers. So your number goes on to the same side as the lady writing. Top of the number goes to your responder. So you can see you just slide that on over the strap for the first, second and third number. For your last number then it's slightly different. So you want to make sure we lock this number in place. So you can see there's a bar on the back of it. We can push that bar down with our thumb feed the strap up over the bar and lock it into place. So again, we want the writing on the same side as Lely. We feed the strap over it, push that bar down with your thumb, give it a push through, and you have a nice tail like that. So feed the number well up the collar, and then feed the strap back out over the bar and out the other side. Pull it tight, and reposition the number up high in the collar. So for four numbers on the collar, you want to leave about half a square between the responder and the top of the number. That just leaves a wee bit of room to play with and gets it down off the responder. The next thing you want to do then is get your weight ring. You can slide the weight ring on, doesn't matter if it's what weight it goes on. After that, you want to put your weight on. So if you have your responder laid out flat, you want the silver piece facing the ground and just slide it across your, your strap. So you have your weight on top of your strap when it's placed on the ground. You then want to get the tail of your strap and lock the weight into place by putting it through the slip ring that we put on just beforehand. Feed that up through. So we should have something like this here. Once you're happy with your length, so we want to have the buckle at the top of the cow's neck, you want to have the top of the weight at the bottom of the cow's neck. So once you're happy with that, you can tighten that ring down so it's good and tight and the weight's locked in place. Mm -hmm. Then go back and we put our numbers on on the other side. So this time we start with our last number first and work towards our first number. So again, we want to put the writing on the same side as Lely. If you look at the strap, the strap has a bit of a cut on it. That's going to be pointing upwards. So we want to lock this one on the same as our last number at the far side. So push our bar down again, feed the strap up over it, push it on down, and back out the other side. Like so. We can slide our next two numbers on, so our two sevens can go on here. Just slide on, simple as. And then our last number on this side as well needs to be locked in place. So we want the top of the number, same side as the arrow. And we want to lock that back into place. So feed the strap up over that bar again in the middle. Pull it down and back out the far side. So then we just want to reposition the numbers. So you can see they're not just even. We want to just reposition the numbers. So grab a hold of the top and just pull them down. Now we have our collars made up and ready to go on for cow.